This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Former Moorhead State and Tennessee basketball coach Donnie Tyndall has found himself in some hot water with the NCAA. ESPN and CBS Sports are reporting that the NCAA is expected to charge Tyndall with multiple infractions during his two seasons at Southern Miss. Infractions that include academic misconduct, impermissible financial aid for non-qualifying recruits, and unethical lack of control. Tyndall and Southern Miss University have 90 days to respond to the allegation notice. Tyndall was fired last season from the University of Tennessee when these allegations were first reported after just one season with the Volunteers. Kentucky football fans are obviously excited about the 2015 season, but not a lot is expected from analysts around the SEC. In fact, the Wildcats are picked to finish sixth in the East Division, ahead of only Vanderbilt. And while optimism is high for the program, head coach Mark Stoop says he understands how expectations can be so low for his team this season. I understand that. We won five games a year ago. We need to improve. We have a long way to go. We're very happy with the progress we're making, and uh, we feel like we have a very good football team, a much better, a much improved football team heading into this year. Yeah, there's a competition. Patrick Tolles uh, played extremely well for us a year ago. Uh, we feel very good about him and the improvement that he's making, uh, but he has a very talented guy behind him that redshirted a year ago that's pushing him and Drew Barker, but it'll be a healthy competition. While Stoops and his staff are optimistic and excited about the upcoming season, another coach in the SEC appears to be growing tired of some critics. South Carolina coach Steve Spurrier expressed his frustrations to the media Wednesday with recent reports that his career may be winding down. The Gamecocks finished 11-2 in 2013 before taking a step back to 7-6 last season. Now that we're 7-6, and six, uh, some of our enemies out there we want to make you think that Spurrier's getting old. He can't do it anymore. And uh, they'll try to convince our people that our 7-6 and six is not as good as some other school's 7-6s. and sixes. They'll try to do that. But we got to understand that we have some enemies out there. In typical Spurrier fashion, we are officially less than one month from the start of the high school football season and the start of sports overtime, which means our pigskin preview interviews have begun. One team we met with earlier this week is the Belfry Pirates, who are coming off their second consecutive Class 3A state championship. With practice having just started on Monday, head coach Philip Haywood says the goal for his team now is to be better tomorrow than it is today. Uh, we, we try to take it in real small increments and not really talk about way down the road or anything like that. Uh, but we do feel like if you can get a little better each day and if you can uh, do that each week, that over a period of time you can make some drastic improvements. And, and we've, we've been, a, been able to do that because usually we're a lot different at the end of the year than we are at the beginning of the year. And so, so that, that's, that's a big part of our philosophy. And guys, that is sports. Thank you, Josh. And we'll be right back after this. <laughs> 